So we settle in, sit comfortably in our chair, roll the shoulder back, lengthening the spine. Relax that face, relax jaw, relax tongue. Ah, take a moment and just see if your body really resting and on, your, on your chair. And if it's not, adjust comfortably, move any way you like to make that spine center. And you're feeling the right hip and the left hip both equally pressing on your chair. And so you relax your toes, relax your heels. And feel the feet are grounded. They're not lifted, they're really touching the floor. Your knees are resting. Back hip relax, shoulder back, nice long neck, palm facing your thighs, finger closed. And let's now focus on our breathing. The body is kind of resting. Through the nostrils, inhale for two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Go ahead, do eight by yourself. A nice comfortable breath with a nice deep inhalation through abdominal and double the size almost four count to four exhaling inhaling for two exhaling for four and let the breath be peaceful relax don't control it imagine you have a beautiful flowers in front of you and you want to smell that sweetness of that flower and you want to slowly let go of that smell. You don't want to really let go fast. And notice how your body reacts to the exhale. Your chest, rib cage, belly all contract. Preparing you for a big deep inhalation. Stick your time with exhalation and the inhalation will happen. Five more times. Three more, really relaxing exhale. Relax the jaw, tongue as you exhaling. Last one, the best one. Normal breathing. So we're gonna lengthen the spine by lifting the arms up and do five of those. Inhale, arms up, palm to palm. Exhale, arms by your side, relaxing. Keep the spine alert, long. Inhale. Exhale. Three more, energizing. Two. Last one. And back to the arms on your thighs, a little bit lift in your upper body, 
and we're going to take the right ear to the right shoulder maintaining that straight spine and then the left ear to the left shoulder so we are not stretching we are trying to open the area around your neck to allow more energy flowing there Let's try not to tight your jaw slightly open your lips so you can allow the jaw to relax the tongue is relaxed and four more each side moving slowly side to side enjoying the movement two more last one come back center relax shoulders down away from your ears and we're going to come slightly forward inhale look ahead and slightly back looking at your navel looking front inhale looking back exhale and you're doing 10 more really you're dancing with your body you just want to massage that whole spine effortlessly you're not really pushing hard or feeling any pain breathe eight more Three more. And the last one. As you finish from the last one, come back center, roll the shoulder back, relax completely. And so we warm up a little bit the spine. Now you drop your left arm by your side, you lift the right arm up. And you look over the left shoulder this is your inhale you drop your right you lift your left you look over the right arm so you're turning your gaze tower the shoulder opposite shoulder that's dropping down and allowing the arm to drop without any force so you're allowing the gravity to work with this so you want the body to open slowly there's no force at all your knees center align with the hip they are not moving You're really allowing your sides of your body to open We're doing 20 here this is a great way of warming up the body and stretch a little bit and breathe give you chance time to breathe inhale on one side Exhale the opposite. Ten more. Five more. Three more. Last one each side. To the right. To the left. Come back, relax. Let's pause for a moment and see how you're feeling. Maybe some tingling sensation around your waistline. Maybe feel more space between your shoulder and your ears. It's all a nice feeling. Stay here. So now we're going to stretch that area. So we drop the right arm down. You can hold on a chair or just drop the arm. Take the left arm up. Reach to the ceiling. Drop it over the head. Look over your right shoulder. 
and keep your feet down. One more inhale. Come back, rest. Completely relaxing. And just see how you feel on your left side of your body. Maybe a little bit opening, maybe blood flowing more. Stay relaxed, stay connected. Take your left arm down, let the gravity pull it down, really relaxing, not tensing. You can hold on the chair if you like, or just drop down. Right arm active, reach up. Then drop over the head like a rainbow and look down and keep the shoulder up. Don't let it drop center to your chest. So this is really a good stretch for your shoulder, for your rotator and for the side of your body. Keep your toes, heels, all stable and strong. Breathe, three more breaths. And gently come back, relax completely again, pause for a few breaths. See if there's both sides balanced. So we're going to come to into sun salutation and we're going to do three rounds working on the entire body with the inhale and exhale to see where we are today in terms of you know the flow this gives us a chance to warm up the whole body bring your legs knees together sit halfway in a chair lengthen the spine no hunching lengthening navel to spine arms down relax the first two I'll guide you, the last one I would just say inhale, exhale. So see if you can remember. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, hands on the shin, extend the spine. Exhale, head down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, down. Hands behind the chair. Inhale, squeeze shoulder blade. Exhale, down. Inhale, arms up, reach. Exhale, letter T. Inhale, center, right arm back. Exhale, both arms. Exhale, back to letter T. Inhale, arms up, reach. Exhale, arms down, relax. Okay, let's do one more by telling you what to do. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands and shin. Extend the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right knee up as high as you can comfortably. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg up, pressing. Exhale, down. Inhale, hands on shin. Look in front. Exhale, down. Hands behind the chair. Squeeze on your shoulder blade. Exhale, down. Inhale, arms up, reach, stretch. Exhale, letter T. Inhale, move to the right. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, move to the left. Exhale, back center. Inhale, arms up, reach. Exhale, arm by your side. Let's do this. Inhale. 
exhale, hand chin inhale, exhale, right knee, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, behind the chair, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale right, exhale, inhale left hand, exhale, inhale, exhale, awesome. So let's move into the shoulders now. Now the body's warm up, we're gonna work on our shoulder. Put your hands on your shoulder, elbows aligned. First bring the elbows front and back for eight. Inhale when you go back, exhale when you touch. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Bring your arms, letter T, nice to stay here. And we're going to bring both elbows, arm palm together and go back. So the palms are touching, the elbows are touching, the elbows are shoulder height. And we're working on that really shoulder and back. And you do four more. Inhale back, exhale, touch. Three more, two, one. Come back to shoulder now. We're gonna lower halfway, come to the body, back again, bend, lift. Touch, back to 90, halfway, lower. Halfway, up, touch, back, again bend, down. Two more like that, come up, touch, open halfway lower lift halfway up touch back halfway down again halfway up touch back give me one more halfway up touch open halfway down so working a little bit on our rotator, our shoulders, we often, you know, leave them rounded. So just a little bit, bring some life to the shoulders. So a little bit rotation for the whole socket. Put your hands here. Inhale, elbow touch, go back, circling. Eight. Now, big circle. Now, you might hear some popping sound, you know, maybe in one side, maybe both sides. That's okay. We're here to fix that. Four more. Three, two, one, reverse. Come forward and push back. Come forward, push back. Give me six more. Five, four, three, two, one. And drop your arms and shake your shoulders, shake your wrist. Ah, should feel nice. Some blood flowing there relax palm facing down shoulder back and down let's pause for a few breaths let's just settle in and see how the shoulder the top of shoulders are feeling maybe some tingling sensation some good feeling there it's almost like a deep massage so we're going to help that feeling even more you're going to lift the shoulder to your ears and so this is what we're going to do we're going to lift fast but we lower for four three two one as slow as you can right you lift squeeze to your ears you lower four three two one really low and push all the way up again four three two one two more like that push all the way up four three two one one more push all the way up squeeze Four, three, two, one. Now that you're gonna push up, you're gonna hold. Tense, 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 tense. Again, squeeze and tense, squeeze and tense, and drop and relax. Pause for a few breaths. 
Ah, see if you feel like almost like a nice massage in your neck and shoulder. Awesome. Stay there, breathe. One more for the shoulders. The reason I do shoulders because we do use them a lot and they do get tight, especially if you're facing the computer with the extended head like that. They overwork. So we're gonna come back to that 90-90, elbows align with the shoulder, and we're just gonna do very easy one. We're gonna work on our arm, the weight in our arm, and we're gonna hold. And we come back to the shoulder, right? The old fashioned way, they used to do this in the morning, right? They knew something, right? When it soften the joint, take the pressure from the joint by allowing blood to flow more. So you can do this very fast. They used to do it fast, or you do it very slow. So we're doing for one minute here, just one minute, working on those arms back and forth nicely. Keep them aligned with the shoulders. Keep the spine nice and straight and breathe. Keep going. It's always good. It's good to work with your body to make it strong. Breathe, 30 more seconds, just this simple one, see? Yes, I love those moves. They're simple, but they're good. 20 seconds, keep going. Strong, you can do fast, you can do really slow, or I like to do it fast. 10 seconds. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. And drop your arms down, palm facing down, roll the shoulder back and see how you feel. A simple one, right? The whole arm is working nicely. Breathe through your neck and shoulder. Stay here, stay present. The sensation don't have a voice to speak. Like our tongue, like nonstop we talk. <laughs> but they can tell you the tingling, the sensation, the energy, the vibration. If we really take our mind, there are lots of activities going on. Then you can connect with that feel good, feel rest, feeling the vibration. And the more you concentrate, you're increasing your concentration power, the more you build resilience. So let's come back again to that 90 and we're going to do a little one last one. We're going to bring the elbows palm together and we're going to push over the head for 12 times. Inhale, lower, exhale, push. As you're pushing, keep your elbows together. They might like to separate, but try to keep them together. So you got eight more to go. Inhale when you lower, exhale, you push back. Four more. Three, two, one, and come back center. Oh, this works for really the back of the shoulder. Nice, relax. Ah, sit on the edge of the chair, bring your knees together, roll the shoulder back. And we're gonna just circle the body, circle the head eight times. If you need to move your head, circling the head, by all means, go do that. You just want to stretch also the size of your neck. Four more. Three. Two. Last one, as you come in, last one, you drop your head down, have your hands on your thighs, and taking the shoulder back to the ceiling and dropping the head down. It's a little bit stretching your shoulders and your back. Hold here for four breaths more. Inhale deeply and go opposite direction to the other side, circling, just making sure both sides are equally stretched. 
can move your head, you can move your neck. Five more. Four. Three. And the last one. Once you're done, stay up, relax completely. Pause for a moment, just rest. So I'm going to move away from the chair and work on hip without using the chair. I think you can feel it maybe more. If it's challenging, you can always hold on the chair as well. So let's see what we can do today. Um, we're going to take the chairs facing us. Take my stuff away. So maybe I'll turn the back of the chair. And I'm going to work on a little bit hip opener. So I can have my hands here, take my socks off too. It's good to have balance. We don't need the socks and stand nicely strong, feet together and shoulder back and down. So we start working on hip a little bit. So you lift the leg up, you circle and you come around. So your hip is always facing in front. You're not shifting the hip at all. It's just the knee moving. So we're gonna work on that hip socket, nice and slow, we're doing eight. So you have your hands on chair to stabilize. And at some time, if you feel like you can take your hands away and work on that more stabilization, hip stabilization is even better. But if you're not there today, you can hold on the chair. Two more here, one more, good. Let's reverse the same thing, nice and slow. Again, hips stay in front flat. You notice my hip is not moving, just the leg. And it could be very small movement, doesn't have to be very big circle. Whatever you can do, keeping the leg, standing leg straight. Three more, and once in a while, take your hands away. See if you can balance. One more here for this leg. Come back, relax. Pause for a moment. Relax completely. Two more breaths. We're allowing the hip to settle, to relax. We're going to go the other side. Again, you can hold on the chair or no chair. Whatever works for you. Again, the chair is there for support. If you need to, and you're circling the left leg doing eight so we've got four more to go this way hips stay flat in front three two one and we're gonna reverse nice and comfortably so if we need to take the hands from the chair we can do that if that is okay if you feel you're losing your balance then you go back to your chair and three more Go. Two. One. Come back, relax. Let's pause for a moment. See how you're feeling, okay? How the hip is feeling. Sometimes feel tense. It's trying to open. Relax. And we're gonna temper with the hip. So we want to really challenge ourselves, learn how to stabilize. We're going to take the right leg up and we're going to opposite arm come to the front and opposite leg goes back and you come again in front. Now this might be very hard if you're not used to it. You can hold on the chair and slowly take the leg back with control. Soften your standing leg. Okay, You're not locking the knee soft. So once a while, take your hands from the chair and see if you can do this without the chair. You really want to teach that 
hip and body to balance and stabilize, even if it's tiny, tiny movement. If you feel like, ah, oh, this is really hard, then put your hands on the chair. Go easy, go calm. Imagine there's a snow and you need to walk slow, it's slippery. And it's just nice to have that beautiful stabilization so we don't slip, we don't fall down. And three more here, three more nice moving so slow you can see it the sideways that i can show you it's so slow bending slightly the front knee and coming all the way up and two more here that's it and last one and come back and relax it's pause and see how you're feeling. Just rest for a moment. So we're gonna go to the other leg. So standing leg, right leg, soften your knees. And again, we're gonna very slow, go back and front. You can use the chair if you feel like you need to. But it's good idea if you just step away from the chair. It is there for you to balance and to center, flat the hip in front, five more. Four. Three, two, and the last one, standing on one knee, and slowly drop, relax completely, Close your eyes and see how you feel in your hip. Our glutes is the biggest muscles in our body and all this movement help that muscles to be strong. As we sit a lot on a chair, it loses that power. It becomes always an expansion. When to bring it into contraction to make it strong, to hold the hip really firm, provide stabilization. Nice, relax. We're gonna come to warrior three. It sounds like challenging, but I use the chair to practice how to do this. So the idea is to balance. So well, we will use, we will cheat, we use the chair. That's okay. So you can use one hand to challenge yourself or both hands if you're not there yet. You take the arms up first, stretch the body and take your right leg back. You can tap the back leg and slowly you're gonna lift it. As you lift the leg, you bring your arms also in front. If you find that you can hold without touching the chair, then hold one hand and lift the right leg back and the right arm. Keep your hip flat. So we're using the chair to sort of practice how to do warrior three. So again, keep the hip down flat. Don't open your hip and hold here. Hold three, navel to spine, stay strong. Two, one more. Awesome, come back, drop your right leg, stand up straight, relax, okay? So it's not that bad using the chair, it really helps. And give you that confidence also that you can do it. Let's take the arms up again, inhale, stretch, exhale, move the back leg, the left leg back. And once you feel like, okay, I can lift a little bit, bring the arms in front, if you find you can do this without the chair, then 
place one hand and take the other hand straight, align with your spine. Hold here, warrior three, four more breaths. Keep the back leg strong and keep your hip flat facing down. Three more breaths. Two. One. And slowly come back. Relax completely. Come close to the chair in case if you need to hold on. Rest. We're going to do warriors, uh, sorry, tree pose. And again, we use the chair if we need to. First, bring your knee out, not in, out, align with the right hip flexor. You will feel your glutes engage, contract. That's what we want. That gives you stabilization, power. Slide your right foot a little higher. See if you can hold here. Hands in your chest. If this is too hard, hands on the chair. It's easy. If you find like you today, you can go higher with your foot, then just take the leg, your hands where your ankle is, place it where you want to. Push the knee out to the side, engage your glutes, navel to spine, stay strong, standing leg straight and powerful. You can stay here or you can take your hands up. So, um, and hold here, so kind of losing my balance to today because I'm talking and hold here. If you find this is okay, you lift your arms up and hold here. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice. And come back and relax. Pause for two breaths, rest, feel the effect of this tree pose. And we'll move the other side. Again, bring your left, push the knee out, hands in your heart center if you need to go higher. It's there for you. If you go much higher, needs more balancing. Pushing the knee to the side, feeling that opening in your hip. When you're ready and you feel like, oh, I got the balance, the chair is there for support. If not, you can take your hands on your heart. And once you stabilize, take your arms up. Five. Four, three, two, one, and slowly with control, come back and relax. So before we sit on a chair, I want to do a little balance in our body, standing forward bend and back bend. So. Open your legs wider than your hip. So my legs are wider than my hip, not too wide, but just enough wide. And bring your navel to spine. So no arch, bring that navel to spine, right? Activate your core. Put your hands on your hip or hands behind if it's easier. Roll the shoulder back, push your hip forward and look up. So you're gonna stay here for five long breaths. Last inhale. Beautiful, come back center, relax. Bring your feet hip width apart, a little closer. And take your arms up, inhale, align with your ears. Exhale, slowly lowering, slowly lowering. Navel to spine, slowly lower. We're gonna go all the way down, all the way down. Dropping the head down. Dropping the shoulders, allowing the gravity to pull and stretch the body. 
hold here. Take your head side to side, say no. Bring your head center, say yes. Hold in your forearms and drop the arms down to stretch more your back of your body. Relax through the stretch. Inhale deeply. As you exhale, drop your arms, whatever your arms reaching today. Maybe you can hold the back of your leg and push your head tower, your shin. One more. Now release the arms, bend the knees, roll gently up, very slow, head and shoulders are last to come up, very, very slow. Shoulders rolling back, head is going up, relax. So we're coming now, we can sit and relax a little more. So um, we kind of, Work the entire back, hip, shoulders, and um, we want to make sure that we take time to actually relax them. Point and flex, point and flex. One more. Circle the toes, circle, circle, reverse, reverse, reverse. Point and tense that whole right leg. Tense, tense, tense. Tense the whole right leg. Drop down, relax. Lift your left. Circle the toes. Circle, circle. One more. Reverse. Three, two, one. Point and flex. Point and flex. One more. Now point and tense the whole left leg. From the hip down to the toes. Tense, tense, tense. Drop, relax. Stay with your body. It's the best medicine and the best way to feel it. Lift both legs up. Point and flex both for five times now. Three more. Two. One. And now you point both and you tense. Tense, tense both legs, tense, one more, drop, relax. Now go back against your back of the chair and navel to spine, push your back against the chair. Navel to spine, squeeze the back, squeeze the back, squeeze again, relax, inhale, arch in your lower back. One more we're going to do for our lower back. Inhale deeply, feel the arch. Exhale, navel to spine. Press against the chair. Press, 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 squeeze, release. Take the shoulder back, open that heart, squeeze between your shoulder blades. Squeeze hard. Like really, if there's a ball between your shoulder blade, it will stay there. Two more, squeeze. Squeeze and relax. Rest. Take your shoulders to your ears. Squeeze the shoulders like you want to really reach your ears. Squeeze. One more. Drop, relax completely. Take the right hand up. Point the fingers and close. Point and close. Now point and tense. Tense the whole arm from the shoulder 
If somebody want to sit on that arm, they cannot sit. This is how strong, tense it is. Drop, relax. Lift your left. Point the fingers and close. Point and close. One more. Point and close. Now, point and tense that arm. Tense, 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 tense. Drop, relax. Roll the shoulder back. Lift both arms. Tense both arms, like someone want to sit on your arms, you want to hold them. Tense, tense hard, tense. One more. Relax completely. Take the right ear to the right shoulder, looking up, looking up, keeping your left shoulder down. Look up, 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 two more. Come back, relax. Take your left ear to the left shoulder. Keep the right shoulder down as you're moving toward the left. Keep lifting, keep lifting. One more. Come back, relax. Take the head back as far as you can. Keep going, keep going. Shoulders down. Stretch that thyroid, stretch, stretch. And come back. Chin to the chest, double chin. Stretch the back of the neck. Stretch, stretch. Shoulders down, shoulders down, stretching the back. One more. Relax. So we're gonna relax now. The body's ready to relax. Sit comfortably, straight spine. Alert but relax, shoulder back and down. Eyes soft, eyelid closed, and breathing through your nostrils. Taking the breath from your heart to your toes. Exhale from the toes to the heart. Bring your palms together, just the palms, and circle the palms. Fingers are away, just the palms. Relaxing. Take deep inhale. As you exhale and bring the palms on your eyes, relax the conscious mind. Now deep inhale again. Sigh it out. And bring your hand to your heart center. May you always feel restful and joyful and peaceful. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice.